Namaste, witchlings. Welcome back to my channel. I am Dai, your favorite yoga witch, and this is Dai's Daily Divination Draw. We have a birthday today, and it actually is kind of an important person's birthday, sort of. Uh, today is the daughter of my business mentor. It is her birthday, so... And that explains why Sharon was having a crappy week. Happy birthday to Neil. I hope you have a wonderful day. That's kind of the plan, you know. Um, the reason I say um, today being to Neil's birthday explains why Sharon was having a shitty week. Um, Sharon is one of the authors in this book. It is a collection of short stories. My friend Sharon was pregnant with Tennille when they lost their son. He was 10 and one week later after his funeral, Tennille was born. Okay, so let's get the show on the road, shall we? Our first card, we have Five of Cups. Hope for the future, but learn some valuable lessons from your past experiences. Next, we have the world reversed, which means you are failing to complete what you have started. And then we have temperance reversed, which says you're impatient, you're impulsive, and prone to overreactions. No, nah, that card's not talking to me at all. Our oracle cards. First, it's all an act. Oh, look at how clear it shows up. Yay. All right. Then, I am their light. And, <gasps> there are regrets. <laughs> <laughs> I love this card. Hmm. It's all an act. I am their light. There are regrets after. Hmm. Hope for the future, but learn lessons because you're failing to complete what you have begun and you're impatient, impulsive, and prone to overreaction. I'm thinking here that it being an act is the impatience and impulsiveness. I am their light, okay? There are regrets probably is because we are failing to complete what we are starting. Just my thoughts. Our rune, I believe, yep. I keep showing this one sideways, rotated 90. We have oh, Degas. Ah, it embodies an action that will lead to your desired result. Your actions must be goal directed, not chaotic. If there is no goal, there will be no result. 
the characteristics of this rune. It symbolizes either a successful outcome, the end of a particular period in one's life, or a transition into a new period. Degas also means an analysis of all your actions taken. It shows what was done either correctly or incorrectly. This rune says to learn from your experience, which is exactly what the tarot cards were saying. Degas, however, only has positive meaning. It foresees happy news and drastic changes which are going to change your life for the better. Uh, you will overcome all those difficulties and come out stronger for it. You will end an affair and receive a material reward. That just, we're not going to say. You will possibly, possibly complete a new deal at work, and you might even get promoted for it. Degas also symbolizes joy, happiness, and euphoria. Our goddess is Anya. Right, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Goddess of inner strength. Anya is a Celtic goddess, the sun goddess of love and light. Anya is a fairy queen from Ireland, and the county of Limerick is especially sacred to her. She rules over agriculture and animals, and she's celebrated every year at the Midsummer Festival. People light torches and run up her hill and I cannot remember how to pronounce Knock Anya. It's not pronounced Knock, though. To ask for her blessing on their farms. It's believed that she and her fairy folk are celebrating the festival on the other side of the hill, and sometimes she will appear to young girls and lead them to the fairy festivities. As a strong and loving goddess, Anya is also a survivor of sexual abuse in many myths, and she guides her people especially women, to the warmth of the sun, to finding their own power, and to regeneration. In one particular story, Anya was raped by King Elil Alam of Munster, and she bit off his ear, which made him ineligible for the throne, because in Celtic times, in these times, to be able to rule and sit on the throne, you had to be perfect. And by biting off his ear, he was no longer perfect, therefore no longer qualified to rule. Hmm. In another story, Gerald, Earl of Desmond, stumbled upon her bathing in a lake and stole her clothing so that she would marry him. When she refused, he raped her, and in her fury, she turned him into a goose. I can think of. However, from that union, she gave birth to a gifted son who became known as Merlin. Anya is portrayed with flowing red hair and a headband of stars, often wearing yellow and with her animals around her, a red mare, a rabbit, and a swan. According to another legend, she can transform into a red mare, able to outrun anyone, which is probably why her, one of her animals is a red mare. Call on Anya to help you find your own inner strength to face present challenges or overcome past traumas. Goddess of Love Anya is guiding you to look within for strength, whether you're embracing a new path, taking a risk, or healing from past pain. Everything you are seeking is inside of you. Now we have our action cards. We have the Namaste card, which says hugs are free love. Imagine what it feels like to receive a hug. Now imagine what it feels like to receive a hug from someone you love. There's a huge difference. Just by imagining a hug from someone who is dear to you and special to your heart, you can feel the sensation of love course throughout your body. Your body doesn't realize the person you're thinking of isn't there. Um, a hug 
is a connection, just like thinking of someone is a connection. Imagining a hug from someone dear to you can bring you a connection similar to if you were hugging that person in real life. This positive connection will course through your body and help reduce stress. Hmm. And then we have our self-compassion card, which is watering the flowers. Name three things that you like about yourself. Notice how receiving recognition makes them that much stronger. All right, we have our moment of Zen. This one's interesting because the Namaste card was to imagine a person. Obviously, a drawing of a person is not a real person, but a drawing of a line is a real line, and that is Sol Lewitt. And then Buddhist proverb, when the student is ready, the master appears. We hear that one a lot. Mm. That is what we have today. And uh, if you liked what you saw, do the like, share, subscribe thing. If you really like what I have to say or something moves you, Go ahead and leave me a comment here. Um, hop over to Patreon for behind the scenes videos, some exclusive blog posts, and a whole lot more fun stuff. If you join the Patreon, you get access to the Discord server where I kind of go live and dink around here while I'm getting ready for Daily Draw. Um, that can be fun. Um, otherwise, check out the website at www.yogawithdialin.com if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one yoga session with me uh some reiki with aaron who was hanging out in the chat with us today and we both do tarot readings i do pendulum readings aaron does numerology i don't know if she's offering that oh bad die no donut um and then <laughs> comment wait no no comment. Tune in tomorrow. That's the word I'm looking for. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel for another daily draw. Monday through Friday. Do not forget to come back Thursday for the podcast. Friday we do guided meditation. And if you are feeling ever so kind, please uh, go to buy me a coffee. I think it is. There's a QR code um, that pops up on the live stream. So if you're watching this on the recording, I will try to remember to put that link in the description box down below. Uh, because this witch, this witch definitely needs her coffee. <clears throat> Currently drinking pumpkin spice. Um... Fun fact, the spices in pumpkin spice are all protective spices or protective herbs. So, you know, most of those people who are bitching about pumpkin spice, it's working. <laughs> so come back. We do this every Monday through Friday and <gasps> ah, Aaron is correcting me. Numerology with Aaron is a numerology to tarot reading, which is really interesting. You should you should hit her up for that one. Otherwise, eh, this is us, and we will see you all tomorrow. Spread love, spread joy, spread kindness. There is way too much hate and discontent for me to be comfortable adding to it. Tell your loved ones they mean something, because you never know when that last opportunity is going to be. And I will see you fine, fantabulous, wonderful, magical people later. I love you all.
One of these days, you know, one of these days, I'll actually remember to get that done before we go live. However, today is not that day.